This could be the week that we find out who Trump's vice presidential running mate will be. I don't know. Uh, According to the Washington Post, it's down to three. J.D. Vance, Marco Rubio, or Doug Burgum? I I mean, I I get a little bit excited about J.D. Vance. Um, I'm not real, I won't, you know, Marco Rubio and Doug Burgum don't cause me to jump up or down, jump up and down. Yeah, the the Marco Rubio story is an interesting one because this is a guy who was a fierce competitor of Donald Trump's when he ran for president against him and then, of course, dropped out and became a staunch Trump ally. And Trump loves that story. He loves that narrative. Here was Senator Rubio over the weekend on, uh, I told you I wouldn't play any CNN clips. I I, I do want to clarify, I'm not playing CNN or MSNBC. I'm not playing the crazies from those networks anymore. But if somebody, like on our side, appears on one of their networks, I've got no problem playing the, of this clip. And I want you to hear Marco Rubio. I, I also recognize that there is not a lot of excitement in MAGA world over Senator Marco Rubio. Now, I like the guy. I think he's, a, he's competent and strong and um, disciplined. Um, of course, he's... Latino, that checks boxes for people who want those kinds of boxes checked. I know that's nor- more, that's normally a component of the left. But but I am intrigued by this whole guessing game about who it's going to be. Is it going to be next week at the convention in Milwaukee? We'll be there. You know, we're going to be broadcasting the Mike Gallagher show from Radio Row. What's the name of the arena? Do we? I don't even know the name of the arena. Do you know yet, Eric? Robert Haley will be there. Uh, we're going to have uh, a, a great time, and I'm I'm curious now that we're back, and let's talk a little bit about the vice presidential running mate. Do you like any of those guys as Trump's VP? J.D. And again, this is the Washington Post. Take it with a grain of salt. It may not mean anything. But they say J.D. Vance, Marco Rubio, or Doug Burgum. Who do you like on that list? And, and, and if you don't like them, why not? And give me your honest, spontaneous reaction to Marco Rubio because, again, he's very polarizing. And I've noticed that in MAGA world, there's a lot of people that don't really trust him. MAGA doesn't really love Marco Rubio, the senator from my home state of Florida. Here he was last uh, over the weekend on CNN. Senator, Donald Trump has said that he would go after Joe Biden, that he would go after members of the Biden family. That's never something that we've heard. Donald Biden Trump has saying. said that his, no, he hasn't. And, and you're, I, I watched the debate. You guys did a great job. I watched it and he was asked and he said, my vengeance will be winning and restoring America, making America great again. He did not say, I'm going to go after not them at the and debate, so forth. But he has and I'm said it put elsewhere. Them in jail. Not at the debate. You're right. He said it he elsewhere. Has, he has repeatedly said, he has repeatedly said that his revenge will be to make America great again, to undo all their bad public policies. Well, let and by me the way, ask he you. was president for four years. He didn't go after Hillary Clinton. He didn't go after Joe Biden. He didn't go after Barack Obama. He didn't go after so any of their consultants. You're telling me we didn't right see now, under him what we're seeing now. You're telling me right now that a second Trump uh, administration would not go after any Democrats, any of his political opponents, full stop. You can you have confidence that that wouldn't happen. Yeah, I, he was president before and he didn't do it then. He's already said that he wouldn't do that. He, he, he'll be too busy undoing all the damage of this disastrous presidency. Let me ask I mean, you something on, else about the He'll be the too busy securing our border and making America prominent and respected in the world again. I like the way a guy like Marco Rubio can stop a, a Dana Bash in her tracks the way he did. It was a great answer. And, you know, he's, he's very accomplished. I wonder what you think of Marco Rubio as Trump's vice presidential running mate. I wonder what you think about J.D. Vance. You like him? I hate I hate taking him out of the Senate. I hate taking Marco Rubio out of the Senate. The only thing I like about Doug Burgum is that we're not going to lose a Senate seat. We got to win. We got to win the presidency, the House, and the Senate. So give me your take on, on all of these. 800-655-MIKE. 
800-655-6453. And incidentally, I, I, everybody's calling with all these different names. Let's just let's just go with the official narrative, such as it is, that it's J.D. Vance, Doug Burgum, or Marco Rubio. Who do you like of those three? And I and I appreciate we could spend all day, oh, Tom Cotton, oh, Tulsi, and, and please spare me the Tulsi Gabbard stuff. She's very photogenic. She's very charismatic. She is a leftist Democrat on on core core issues. So let's go with some let's go with some earth logic here. But of those three that the Washington Post is reporting is said to be the uh, the the front runners for Donald Trump. Who do you like, Marco Ru? And what don't you like about Rubio? Here's a text message from Washington State. No, I don't get excited about any of those three. I strongly feel Trump needs to select a highly qualified female VP, such as Jody Ernst, Joni Ernst or Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi would help bring independence. Yeah, except except Tulsi is going to be dealing with uh, having to deal with being a pro-abortion, anti-Second Amendment Democrat if she were to become president. 800-655, Mike, John in Pennsylvania. John, of those three, who do you like? Doug Burnham. Tell me why. He's the, smart, he's the smartest man in the bunch, and he won't take away from the Senate. We need Rubio to keep the number up. Gotcha. So that's what. Gotcha. All right, let's see what others say. 800-655-Mike, one open line. 800-655-6453. Who do you like of those three? And again, I'm intrigued by Rubio. Why don't you like Marco Rubio? Let's get a MAGA person in here to kind of give me a, a takedown on that. Dan in Fernando Beach, Florida. Dan, what do you think about Marco Rubio? Give me your perspective as a Flori fellow Floridian. Well, Mike, I went to a rally that he uh, put on in Fernandina Beach. Yeah. Prior to his entering the Senate, he was running at the time. Okay. I asked him a question about would he back the Tea Party if we put him in office. Okay. He said exactly what the audience wanted to hear. He's a slickster. I found I find it strange that he jumped into the running of the president as young as he did because he's a player. I got you. All right. He's too slick for the room. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. More coming up. 800-655-MIKE. It's going to be a big week. Buckle up because I think a lot's going to happen.